Let's go. We see the hype outside. Right for now. Hey guys, here, and welcome back to another Fortnite mobile tutorial video. Today, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing all of you guys how you can download Fortnite mobile on iOS after the ban, which, as you guys know, Apple actually removed Fortnite from the App Store, making it impossible to download it unless you guys use the method. I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Now, before we get into it, I just want to give a huge shout out to the person who actually created this method, Crow. I will leave his links down below and also DJ for make this method public. I would appreciate it if you guys checked out Crow since he made this method. I'm just trying to spread this method to as many people as as possible so that's why you might have seen this video on like other people's channels but guys i just want to make sure all of my viewers also know that you can still get Fortnite mobile after the ban without having to you know do all these crazy steps but anyways you guys obviously know i don't want to waste you guys this time but if this method does end up helping you guys i would really appreciate if you guys consider subscribing down below because we are so close to 100,000 subscribers and if every single one of you guys watching subscribed right now we could easily make 200k so i would just really really appreciate it if if this video does help you that you consider dropping a sub to this channel but anyways let's head right on into the method i'm just gonna try to like speed run through this as fast as possible because i know you guys obviously got things to do so i'm basically gonna try to make this video as short as possible so first off you guys are going to actually unfortunately need a pc and i know guys trust me that is very annoying to some of you guys but trust me guys i spent at least 20 hours trying to find a non-pc method but none of them worked and guys i tried at least like 50 methods or so so unfortunately, no matter what, you are going to need a PC if you want to get Fortnite Mobile back. So you're going to want to actually visit your library or like a school computer or something. If you don't have a computer at your house or something like that, just any Windows or Mac computer. And you will easily be able to download Fortnite Mobile back onto your iOS device. Super simple. Trust me, guys. All right. But anyways, once you guys are actually on your computer, you're going to want to go to the first link, which I will link right down below. And it will bring you to iAmazing.com slash download. And here, once you are on this screen, you're going to simply want to either do download for Mac or download for PC. In my case, I'm on a Windows pc if you guys are on a mac do the mac download but here it's going to say thank you for downloading you should see this download right in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and wait for that to finish downloading it should take anywhere from like i don't know up to a minute if you have semi decent internet but if you don't it could take a few minutes just keep that in mind now once you guys did actually download it once it's done after a few minutes or so tap on that now once you guys actually tap on it you will get this little like i don't know setup little screen you're gonna go next here you're just gonna want to go through this entire setup i actually do have iMazing already so i'm not gonna go through that but if you guys do not have iMazing, obviously go through this it should be super self-explanatory and then install it on your computer and you should be good to go with iMazing. Now, after you guys have actually downloaded iMazing onto your computer, go to the second link down below, which should bring you to this sub to golden iMazing app little download thing. So once you guys are on this little link, it should be linked right down below. Just tap download right there. And now it should start downloading on to your computer. As you can see, super fast to download. It should take anywhere from like up to five seconds. If you have, again, like decent-ish internet, once you guys did download that, you are now ready to begin the process of installing Fortnite Mobile back onto your device so first thing you guys are going to want to do is simply plug into your phone or your ipad or whatever device you're going to be using plug it into your computer using a usb thing or whatever i don't know whatever plugs into your device plug it into your computer and once you guys do plug it in you are now going to be able to begin moving for mobile back onto your device so next you guys are going to want to simply load up bottom left hand corner do it right there and you should see iMazing tap on that again if you didn't install it yet go install it now and it should get this little like pop up like welcome to iMazing or whatever x out of that guys do not worry about that at all x out of everything that pops up all you guys are going to have to worry about as you can see my iPhone is actually plugged in but all you guys are going to want to have to do is simply click on quick transfer and now it should bring you to this little screen so you're going to want to click on choose and now select the sub to golden file that you just installed it should be in your download section if it isn't I have to try to find it wherever it is but quickly click on that and now we'll do like finding compatible apps wait for that guys it'll take like i don't know a few minutes so as you can see after waiting like i don't know a minute or so 30 seconds to a minute you can now see you're gonna have these four selections if you don't have the four selection you should at least have the app store one so select the app store one out of all your selections and hit transfer right there and now this should take a little bit you're gonna see i'm using restore application data and reboot device hit continue there and now it's basically going to start installing after you enter apple id right here so enter apple id password and it should now begin the process of basically starting to install fortnite mobile back onto your phone as you can see downloading fortnite one percent it's going to go through this entire long process. It should take about, I don't know, up to five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. But eventually, guys, after you wait for the screen, you should officially have Fortnite Mobile back on your device. And once it is ready, I will show you guys what you have to do because there's still about like one more step to do. You guys are almost done, though. Trust me, one more step and you will be complete with Fortnite Mobile on your device. A few minutes later. So now, as you guys can see, I switched over to my other camera. But as you can see here, it says like, you know, phone restarted or whatever on there. And here you can see it's going to look like your phone actually did reset 
but trust me guys it did not reset just simply go there you might need to enter your passcode if you do have a passcode so enter that there and now it's gonna say like again it's gonna look like you reset it just select your normal wi-fi network and all that stuff as you can see though it should say restoring successful on the actual like monitor and now you should be good as much as it looks like it reset it trust me guys it did not reset but yeah i'll say restore re completed hit continue there continue just hit continue on everything until you get through and here you might get to this screen and we'll say like restore from iCrowd just simply tap don't restore apps and data and now you're gonna need to obviously like enter your login stuff or whatever for your apple id so i'm gonna quickly do that all right so now i did that and now it should be good to go after we get through this little like loading thing you guys should now have fortnite mobile on your device and i will show you that obviously and i will load it up on that stuff to show you guys it did actually work again click keep hitting continue on all this stuff unless you don't want to hit continue on it and there you go you're now back on your phone and now you can see Fortnite is on my device. Again, guys, like I did previously when I searched it, it was not there. Now it should say on the monitor, restore complete for your iPhone. And there it is, guys. Fortnite Mobile back on your device. And you can load it up like normally and it will work perfectly fine. You can play games, all that stuff. There might be a little error if that does happen. Just simply restart your game and all that stuff. And you guys should be good to go. Worst comes to worst, you log out and then re-log in if you guys do have to do that if you keep getting that error like i just had to do there and now log into your epic account and there it is guys i have now logged into my account perfectly fine fortnite is now updating to the newest 13.40 update no guys you're not getting season four with this but at least you do still get to play the current version of fortnite mobile so obviously this isn't perfect it's not like it's a really good thing but as you guys can see there it is now updating to 13.40.1 and you will now be able to play fortnite mobile back on your ios device after the ban so guys again hope this video of course did help every single one of you guys watching it was very fun it's obvious to share this with you guys because now we will have some more fortnite mobile players playing and that will definitely be nice to see but yeah there it is guys that is how to download fortnite mobile after the ban in five to ten minutes so i hope that helped you guys out and if it did the least you guys could do is drop a like on the video to help this video spread to more people and help others out there get fortnite mobile back on their devices so your one like will recommend this video to more people and help others out there and of course helps me so i'd greatly appreciate if you guys considered liking the video it'll take like 0.1 seconds and it would mean the world to me guys i love you guys so so much and also of course guys i would appreciate if you guys considered sharing this video and also subscribing to the channel because i post everything fortnite mobile related on this channel so if you guys want more tutorials like this one and fortnite mobile related content i would greatly appreciate if you guys considered dropping a sub before leaving and remember you guys can always change your mind and unsubscribe at a later day so please i mean you might as well do it and also guys before we leave i just want to say since i'm literally plugging everything in this video at this point please guys if you guys could use code golden in the fortnite item shop it would mean the world to me and again if this method helped you you can support me by using code golden in the fortnite item shop so help me out and help this channel and help me produce more content and also guys one more thing make sure you guys obviously go check out crow again he was due to made this without him you guys would not be getting fortnite mobile back but this guy's has been golden do with this information as you will and have fun playing fortnite mobile again and i will see you guys all in the next one Base.